I really, I really don't even know how to start this video. Um, so I took today because I had the time to um, do some research on, I'd say, one of my favorite characters from Dragon Ball Super. However, upon doing that research and, you know, understanding him as a character, this is... I think this is a bit of what I referenced in my Goku Black video that I recently just posted last week. And one of the things that I referenced is that Goku Black, that arc specific, I don't know what the exact words that I used, but I think I said something along the lines of Goku Black was one of those few instances where it wasn't Dragon Ball Supered, something along those lines. And what I mainly meant by that is what we have today. Him... Jiren is an example, yada yada yada. Um, the example that I'm referring to is how these very solid, cool looking characters for the most part are mishandled. Either mishandled or not used to its fullest ability, uh, fullest potential. Hit is the perfect example of that. You know, going into his character a little bit. He's been alive for a thousand years, right? Let me give you the whole backstory. He's been alive for a thousand years. And he has worked his way up to being known as the legendary assassin, Hit. That's it. This is what I'm talking about. Hit is a very cool character, don't get me wrong. I love Hit, I do. His stoic nature, his cold demeanor, the way he carries himself, the amount of respect that he has not only for himself, but for a fair fight and a fair warrior. He, he is a very commendable character, but there's nothing there's nothing deep to him. When you meet Hip, there aren't there aren't times where he goes through character development changes in any way, shape, or form. And the way Dragon Ball Super where will delude you into that is how he starts from the beginning of the Universe 6 tournament where the entire time he's seeing all these matches and he is not interested in none of them. I mean, he actually has his eyes closed for the mass majority of all of the matches until Vegeta fighting Kaba turns into Super Saiyan Blue. So all that time Vegeta was just training him? It would appear so. What a What a you see how he is in the very beginning you almost kind of get a almost like a condescending vibe from him because you know who is he to act as if he's better than anybody else here you get a bit of that ego as well but that's not anything he necessarily grows from nor changes from because when you see him in a lot of other instances he kind of carries that same attitude if that makes sense <laughs> And so when he fights Goku and Goku starts to counter with his time skip and even goes um, in the manga, I believe he goes Super Saiyan God and in the anime, he goes Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, you know, at the end of that fight, Hit finds himself respecting Goku a lot, actually. You know, because Goku, he has this, and I'm going to make a whole video on Goku because he actually, for the most part, is very interesting. Goku is very selfless. He's very selfless, and a lot of the time where he, when he's speaking, especially in regards to any sort of fight, he makes you question or wonder. He makes you think. He's like, he shows up, he says something random, and you're like, wait, what What did he just say to me? Like, wh who is this guy? You, you find yourself asking a lot of questions, and instead of you fighting 
the same way you have you almost fight out of curiosity and so that that very same thing started to apply to hit as well he started to grow within the fight and started to understand i mean he even mimicked <laughs> how saiyans power up which is why he was screaming the way that he was he, he mimicked the whole thing but he's always been this way and i think that's what i'm trying to get at is hit's character design is insanely linear that there's nothing to him how he comes in is how he leaves the scene in every single instance there's never really a moment where he grows from how he is he's always been someone who is misinterpreted as someone who has a lot of um ego but in all actuality he he is a very commendable warrior and he he respects other warriors as such and so that's that's mainly like i'm just spitballing my my thoughts on hit i really wanted to dive into his character and i know if you're if you're disappointed by that i'm sorry i know like the the goku black video that i did it was very very movie like you know it was very creative in that sense but we don't have that case here today unfortunately hit he um you really want to see more from him you really you really you really do like if they are going to be doing a a dragon ball super 2 or sequel i really think they need to flesh out hits character a lot more you know maybe get into some of his some of his backstory or even placing him in new scenarios where he's tasked with different missions because you can't just excuse me i'm sorry you can't just create a character like this and then you know push him to the side just because we have other characters to focus on this guy can manipulate time he incorporate he incorporates that into his his abilities his combat skills like you cannot just sleep on that and if you're going to do that just kill the guy off but if he's going to still be there i for one me personally would love to see more from hit but unfortunately like i said we really don't have that today he, hit is hit is hit also a little side no little side topic um i meant i created a community post about it but in my own personal life i'm going through quite a bit i am um, going through something that i really wouldn't want to wish on my worst enemy so if the videos are a little scattered sometimes i upload back to back other times i upload a week two weeks maybe even a month later please bear with me. please bear with me please bear. that's all i ask i'm not even asking you to like share and subscribe though it would be very nice if you did <laughs> Just, just bear with me, please. Just bear with me. And so, with that being said, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be. I'm still trying to, you know, play with a lot of ideas, but we'll see what sticks. And I'll see you guys.